everybody. Welcome again to the second fashion segment with Shay Fisher. Um, I hope you're having a fabulous day. Today I'm going over my American rodeo outfit choices. Now, um, like every girl, I have some very indecisive moments and today was one of them. So I laid out multiple outfits on the ground and made Tyson, my husband, pick out his two favorite. And once again, he leant towards fringe. So. Like I said, I think fringe is very in this spring, so I'm gonna probably be wearing it again at the American, but I wanted you to see how I put my outfits together and how today's a little different from San Antonio last week. Okay, so today's choice, once again, actually my socks are matching today. Who would have thought? I never wear matching socks. But uh, once again, we have some fringe. Now this skirt is such a cute skirt. Now we look my shirt up so you can see this is actually a high-waisted skirt. Um, sits at my belly button. So when I first tried it on, I was thinking, I'm not sure about wearing a cuddle shirt at the American since it is a rodeo um, and since I am a wife, so I need to be uh, dressed a little bit more appropriate. So uh, my thoughts with this skirt was, since the American is a fun, new, fresh rodeo that I wanted to be a little bit more quirky and fun. So I chose this skirt here. It's a little bit shorter than last week, yet it still has enough fringe to cover my legs because like we said, it isn't summer yet, so the sun hasn't hit it. Um, but for the tops, I wanted to do something a little different. I thought it would be fun to do, this little shirt here is actually a really long, really long little uh, singlet top. Now, I think it looks cool by tying it. If you get something that's really stretchy like this shirt, you just want to do a little tie in the corner. It makes it look really fun and funky. So this little shirt, what I did was I tied it in the corner and I put a little gray um, bandeau underneath and I have a black bra on. So in some situations, I think it's okay to see um, bra straps and this is one of them. My skirt is black, my bra straps are black and I'm going for a more edgy, funky look. So I think a little bit of bra is okay. You can even see, you can even see it through at the back as well. Um, now, uh, shoe choices, this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna take my socks off to show you my first favorite shoe choices that I have. So um, the shoes that I picked out for this outfit today are a high heel, lace up, kind of a little bit sneakerish type of shoe. Um, I've had these shoes for so long and I probably wore them three or four times. So I'm gonna show you what these look like. Um, you might call me crazy since the American Rodeo is a all day rodeo and we will be on our feet a lot. Um, I am sure my feet will get sore, but beauty, uh, is it pain for beauty yet? Pain for beauty, ladies, they say. So, we'll show you these little shoes if I can get it on. Okay. So, these little lace up sneakers for this outfit I think work perfect. I'll turn sideways. So, I think that having the fringe has still has a Western country flair to it. Um, we are at a rodeo, so rock the Western country flair. But make it a little more rock and roll. Add some stiletto heels. Add a funky little singlet top. Have a little bit of bra strap showing, which does not look um, trashy, it can still look really classy. So this is one of my outfit choices for the American. Um, I will show you my second outfit choice here in a little bit. However, ladies, if you are not like me and you have some sense and you don't want your feet getting so sore all day, I have some other options for shoes. So the most typical option is going to be a straight black cowgirl boot. Still will look super classy and your feet will not get sore. So this is a really cute option. I'm gonna show it to you as well. Um, I'm gonna put it on without socks, just to show you what it will look like. So here's this little cowgirl boot. And the other shoe I have is actually one that we wore last week at San Antonio in the night performance, this little fringe beauty. A lot less heel, it's a thicker heel, so it's gonna be way easier to walk on. So let me show you this one as well. So these are our two options, ladies. You have your cowgirl boots, you can still look really stylish and be comfortable. Or you have your little fringe booties, which will save your feet and you'll get a little height if you want to heal. Now we'll go to the accessories next with this outfit and I'll show you what I would choose to wear. So next we are going to conquer accessories with this outfit. So um, I have a few options. Normally I would wear um, something a little more plain. Uh, now we're going to conquer jewelry with this outfit and accessories. Normally I would wear something maybe a little more plain like a silver chain and a big chunky cross with this outfit but since it is the American and it is such a fun event, 
I would probably like to try something different. So see this little necklace here? Um, it's got these long chains with it. It's a little bit more of a token necklace. So honestly, I want to try something a little more funky um, at the American. So I am going to wear this fun little choker chain. Um, I think it ties in with the necklace, a little bit of rock and roll edge. Um, for jewelry, for other jewelry, uh, for bracelets, I would wear a, this is a little black and purple uh, wraparound bracelet. Like I said in the last video, uh, wraparound bracelets are fantastic if you like to layer. And I love to layer my jewelry. So this little wraparound bracelet, I think is, is awesome. And if you're, if you're wearing black, try and keep something with more of a black base in it for a wraparound bracelet. Um, if you're wearing brown, you can have more of the brown shade. So that's why I'm wearing the black today. Um, I would like to jazz this outfit up a little bit, lighten it up with a little silver bracelet. This is one of my designs by Shea Ones. You can see it's got some crossing arrows and feathers on it. It's just a fun little cuff, and I'm going to put this cuff on the opposite wrist so I have bracelets on either side. Um, for rings, I'm going to stick with the silver today. So we're going to do um, a little silver ring. Now, like you know, I've got to figure out which finger it fits. Like you know, I love to layer my rings. Um, the more the better. So we're going to put all these different silver rings on my fingers. Um, here is one hand, so I have some turquoise. Uh, these are also uh, designs by Shea Rings. I'm going to have, um, since this is my wedding my wedding ring, I want to uh, not put a ring beside it just so it uh, draws attention to that. So I'm going to wear three on this hand, one on this other hand with my wedding ring. Um, for earrings, I'm thinking today just something, since my necklace is so um, out there, is something a little bit more simple, like a little black. This is a little black gold and turquoise hoop. This is uh, one of the ones on also my website. Um, but I think it'll be simple enough not to draw away from the outfit and the necklace, um, yet enough to uh, to finish and complete the outfit. So every time I go out, I'll be wearing rings, bracelet, earrings, and necklace because I think even in the most simple outfits, you can dress them up so much by uh, wearing accessories. Hi ladies, uh, this is my second choice for outfits for the American. Now I must say, this is actually my husband's favorite outfit. It's funny because I really like the black skirt and the funky shirt and a little bit more rock and roll country cowgirl. But Tyson said that this is very cute. So I wanted to show you this outfit as well. Um, I do love this outfit. This is one of my all time favorite skirts. It's so cute. Um, it's Union of Angels and um, love these little Corel boots. These Corel boots are so neat because they have black and brown both in them. Um, well, not really black, like a dark brown and a light brown, which ties in really well for this outfit. So this outfit, so you can see a little closer, this is a little off-the-shoulder uh, white chiffon top. Um, you can never go wrong with these little chiffon tops. Now, without the belt on and without this shirt being tucked in, you'll see that it's quite long and a little bit too flowy. So um, what I decided to do is to tuck this little shirt into this skirt to make it a little bit more fitting. Um, this skirt's already fitting down the bottom, but since this shirt is pretty flowy up the top, I thought tucking it in um, would really help define my waistline. So, and I am going to add a dark brown leather belt with it, with a belt buckle on the end. Um, to me, this kind of just reads a little bit more country. Now, there's plenty of options for the American. Um, you can, there's no rules that apply really. You can wear something like what I have on in this second outfit. Um, this outfit is probably a little bit more, um, uh, not safer, but a little bit more a comfortable and a little bit more um, rodeo style. You all know that I love fringe, so um, if this outfit does not get worn at the American, I can guarantee you that I'm going to be wearing it at Houston instead. Um, but this little outfit, I'll show you what jewelry I wear with this. Now personally with an outfit like this, um, since it is um, plain simple colors with no print, I would like to add some color like we did last time. Of course, um, some turquoise, some gold, some silvers, just something to jazz it up a little bit. So I'm going to show you what jewelry I would put on with this outfit. Okay, so it's time for jewelry. Now since this shirt is a little bit more simple, um, I am going to turquoise it out with this necklace. Um, now this necklace I know is going to be too long. It's going to hang a little long for what I like. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it up. Here's an old time trick. I take a hair tie and I just put a little knot in the back of this necklace. No one will even know. Just to make it a little bit shorter. Now, 
Since this necklace is just all turquoise beads to give it a little more, more character, I'm going to put on this cute little, um, this is a design by Shea Cross with an arrow. I'm going to put this on just to kind of tie it in a little bit more. Um, for bracelets, we're going to go ahead and do a turquoise bracelet. Um, I love cuffs. You'll see on, on um, my website and my jewelry line, I have so many different cuffs to choose from. So I'm very lucky with that. Um, I'm going to layer some cuffs. I'm going to wear multiple cuffs with this outfit. Again, I always like to have one or two cuffs on mixed with my jewelry. Uh, my jewelry, right now I currently have on these little earrings. I was going to wear them with the other outfit at the American and I think they tie in perfect with both outfits. So these are some little um, hoop earrings that have turquoise throughout them um, with some gold scrolling. So I'm going to go ahead and leave these on with this outfit as well. Um, I like to utilize um, as many items as I can throughout outfits. You'll see me wear some jewelry with other outfits. I'll combine shirts with different top uh, shirts with different skirts and shorts. Um, there's nothing wrong with utilizing the clothes and the items that you have. Um, it is can be very expensive to buy fashionable clothes these days, so you want to try and mix and match. And my tip is, um, I boutique shop a lot and I online store a lot. As long as I have free return policies. I am good to buy online because I can try it on at home and see if it works for my outfits. If not, I send it back. So if you go on my website, which is just shayfisher.com, I actually have lots of um, the sites listed from my NFR blog of uh, websites I buy my clothes from. Um, one final jewelry that we're missing right now, we can't forget the rings. So I am going to turquoise it up and add some silver at the same time. As we've seen on the last outfit, I'm not afraid to um, wear a lot of jewelry so this hand actually see right now this has three lots of turquoise to me that's a little overkill so I'm going to remove this piece of turquoise and put this plain silver ring on instead um, and switch the hands over so to me that is a little bit more um, uniform not quite as um, outgoing and there's quite so much happening on the one hand so um, this is my second outfit of choice I'm not sure which one I'm going to wear but I'm going to post this video for you guys so you can see both the options that I have I hope you have a great day.